Mr. Boward, last week, the Speaker said controversy. Um, he declared that Parliament is broke. Parliament is not being starved of funds. Is Parliament broke? Parliament is broke. You see, sometimes I, I, I just don't know why we inflict, we inflict this thing on ourselves. What's the business of majority about trying to defend government, no sending money to Parliament? I don't know why, what's wrong with us as parliamentarians. We stretch this thing to point that with the it doesn't make sense. Look, as we speak, go check from our accounts. Money for 2022, apart from salaries, not a dime has been released. Even what was released last week after the speaker's comment were part of the outstanding of 2021. But your and, and you get a majority of their when speaker says this, why did I? Why did this even all things came? Mm. It emanated from me, because even what will usually happen is that when we go on recess, by the time we are back, all the official reports will be up, updated. So like, let's say we went on recess on fifth of April, so we come back twenty uh, fourth of May. On that day, you expect to have all the official reports that were outstanding, but even as at twenty fifth. In fact, it was 26, where I raised this issue. You, the, the, the latest you had was 22nd March. It hasn't been updated. It's not been. So Why? you have 22nd, 23rd, 24th, all those things up to 5th April. Because of, is it because of lack of funds? So I raised that, Mr. Speaker. This is unusual that we don't have all the official report. Evans, maybe, you, I don't know, the workings here. Maybe you can talk to the clerk and go to our printing room and say, it's been over a year now that this house, our printing gadgets were going down. Uh, the time to replace them were due. But because of lack of adequate funds, it's been postponed, postponed, postponed. Now, they cannot even print quick because a lot of the machines are down. The time to replace them has long passed and it's not been replaced. So the speaker said, that, look, you know the challenge that we're having. Most of our printing gadgets are not really working. So it makes all the process slow. And coupled with that, we didn't have even enough funds to buy all the necessary materials to be able to print this. So we rest assured that these official reports will be done. Now we start on 25th. You are still struggling to come up with much official report. Then if you're not careful, that of May, will start coming when Parliament is, is going on recess again in July. Why? There's no resources to be able to, to, to do that. And you know, these official reports are what even we as members of parliament, because sometimes when you are upstanding and you are speaking, you don't really, when you are done, sometimes you don't get to know exactly all the things that you said. It is these official records that you take and read portions of what you said, and if there were any controversial issues, you look around it. Are you referring to the Hansard? Yes. Okay. The Hansard is what we call yeah. the official report. So, so the Hansards are now in arrears. You've not printed a yes. lot in the, in the yes. because of because lack, of lack of funds. So you and affecting the printers yes. that some part of. And you see, the challenge also is that Evans, because that one has to also be corrected. You know, we also correct that yes. to get the final one. So when you don't correct it early, and these things happen in March, we are in May. Probably this week we'll go into June, and you bring me March issues that were raised and debated, say, in July. And then I got and said, oh, no, no, this is exactly what I say. You're going to put the house into confusion.